I'll be showing you how you can set up Shopify's new customer self-serve return portal. This is going to make it really easy for customers to request returns on their product without having to email you first, which can be time consuming for them and time consuming for you. So I'll be going step by step in this video on how to set everything up and what it's going to look like. So make sure you stay until the end of it. So the way you're going to set this up is from your Shopify dashboard. What you want to do is go to the left hand side go all the way down to settings. Once you're in settings, you want to scroll down to checkout and accounts and click on that menu there. Now you should see this new option here. If you don't just search for returns by pressing command F or control F. If you see this option, you can click on go to customer self-service returns. And this will bring you to the new section here. So this new section is going to provide a URL for your customers to go and access so they can then request their returns. Now, if you're using classic customer accounts, you can use this URL here. But for most stores, I'm guessing you'll be wanting to use a new customer account. You don't have to ask customers to create an account when they're purchasing to use this process. They simply just need their email tied to their order. And to change this domain as well, you can go to manage domain. This will give you more options as this one here is just going to be shopify.com leading to a particular account. So with this URL, you're going to want to put it into your navigation section or your footer menu or your FAQ page. I'm going to click on preview to open this URL here. And I'll just log out of the existing process. And you can see this is the URL that's going to show up for the customer. See a login section along with entering your email and they'll send you a login code so you can then access their own portal which they can request a return. Before setting that up, let's go and add this to the navigation section. So I'm going to copy this URL here. I'm going to exit out, go to the left hand side under online store, then scroll down to the navigation option. And I'll just put this in the footer menu. So I'll click on the footer menu I've already established for the store. And then to add a new item, you just want to go to add menu item. I'm going to paste the link in here. Then I'll just title this return. Or maybe I'll say submit return. That's just a little more obvious that they're going to submit a return for their order. You just want to hit add there when you're done and hit save menu. And if we reload our web page here for our store, you can see submit return. If we click on that, it will load our page. Before going any further, I wanna thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations on how profitable your store actually is. It's gonna include a variety of different reports, metrics, and graphs, making it really easy to understand your store's performance. It's also gonna integrate seamlessly with all your ad accounts such as Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, TikTok, and Pinterest. There's a link in the description of this video to access the Shopify app listing. If you search Profit Calc in the Shopify app store as well, and you look for this logo in the top left, you can access a 15 day free trial where you can test drive everything for yourself. So let's dive into how this return processing is going to look. A customer is gonna enter in the email they used when they purchased from your store. So I'm gonna enter in an email here. So once I enter that in and hit continue, this is gonna bring me to the customer portal. Before that happens, they'll need to enter in the six digit code sent to their email. This is gonna act as a password, so they don't have to set this up manually themselves. So here's the six digit code I received, and I'm gonna hit submit, and this will load the customer portal finally. And so you can customize the styling of this as well by changing your checkout settings, but essentially what the customer is gonna see is a list of orders they've made on your store. You can also do things such as view the account confirmation or sort their different orders. We can see these are all under confirmed here, and they can click into these items to see the exact details. Now, because of this store's settings, in that it is a test store here, the return option is going to show up, but a customer should see a return button here so they can initiate a return request. This field will also request the items they want to be returned if there are multiple items in an order. They select the return reason as well as a note for a store. So this gives you a Shopify merchant the chance to approve or deny this request as well. Then once you approve it, the customer is going to receive an email with shipping instructions and a return shipping label. After the product is confirmed to be returned, the customer will receive a refund. So overall, this really speeds up the process without having to use any external apps. So rather than going back and forth with a customer, they can go and submit these requests themselves. Then you get the chance to judge if the return is valid. Overall, a great thing for Shopify to implement as returns are very common in e-commerce. So it's important to help speed up the process for both the customer and the merchant. So this concludes the video here on Shopify self-service return portal. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I wanna mention Profit Calc one more time, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. There's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial 
If you search profit calc and look for this logo in the top left here, you can also find the Shopify app listing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.